let's talk about the necessary software that you're going to need to design a golf course in uh, GS Pro. So what are you going to need to do this and um, how much is it going to cost you, right? Well, the good news is you can build a course for absolutely n no money whatsoever. You can do it. And that's been one of the goals of uh, the team, which is to try to make this free so anybody on a tight budget can design and build a golf course. Um, however, if you don't at least purchase some of the tools I'll talk about later on, you're, pro you're, you're not going to get the course published to the game itself. So you'll be able to build a course, you'll be able to install it on your simulator, and you'll be able to play it. But if you want other people to be able to play it, you know, people that subscribe to GS Pro, there are really some minimum requirements uh, regarding appearance, regarding performance. And if you don't have at least some investment in some of these assets, um, you're, you're not going to be able to get that published. So let's talk about that. What's it going to require? So from a software perspective, um, the two things at the top here, CGIS and Cloud Compare, they are uh, both free. They are used to create your LiDAR uh, and overlays, um, which are the basis for starting to build your course. Um, so you can do those completely. You can do that for completely free on your own. Um, and usually you can obtain LIDAR for free. However, in some parts of the world, you might have to pay for your LIDAR or it might, might not even exist at all. Um, more on that in the LIDAR section, okay? But you can do that for free. Inkscape is another tool that we use. There aren't any version requirements. Um, this video was made on the current version, which is 1.2 at the time of the video. And Inkscape is downloaded for and installed for free. Blender is also a free platform. However, we have a very specific version requirement. It must be 2.83. No ifs, ands, or buts. You got to run 2.83. And then we have some add-ons for that as well, which are in the uh, GS the, uh, the the download site that we have um, that's all covered in the Blender section and uh, again Blender is free. Unity GS Pro runs on the Unity game engine. Unity provides a uh, called Unity Editor, which is free. Um, however, we have a very specific version of that, uh, 2018.2.8f1. You're going to need to find that in the Unity download archives and in there it's called unity 2018.28 um, i think the f1 only appears once you download it but you're looking for unity 2018.2.8 all right now this is where we get into the optional unity assets so unity editor is very modular it allows third parties to create software add-ons for it. things anywhere from like trees and assets like um uh, different types of grasses and animals, and you can buy all kinds of stuff to add on to Unity. Um, you don't need to. There's a lot of stuff in the base package, which is provided to you that you can use, like trees and grasses and that type of thing. However, if you want your game to be published, there are certain ones that you're probably going to need to, well, you're definitely going to need to buy. One is VS Pro. There's a whole section in here about using VS Pro. VS Pro is very good at planting vegetation efficiently and making it perform very well. VS Pro, I think when it's not on sale, is like $130, but it does go on sale once in a while for half price, um, maybe like twice a year. Another one you're going to need to buy if you want your game published is the one called Sticks 3DG. So Sticks 3D Grass. Um, that makes a course look great. Without it, you're, you're just not going to be up to the minimum specs to have a, pu a, a course look good and get it published. So Sticks 3DG uh, occasionally does go on sale, but I think that's like 40 bucks normally. Another one that you don't need to get published, but... Yeah, that's almost the requirement is RAM. So RAM allows you to efficiently and uh, do a good job at digging terrains. There's going to be a whole section on RAM. I think RAM is 30 or $40. And again, it does go on sale occasionally. So, you know, if you're on a tight budget, but you want these things, you could just wait for them to go on sale. Just keep your eyes open. Um, one thing with these is if you do decide to buy them, make sure you get the correct versions okay since we're on unity 2018 um, there are specific versions that work uh, for our, our our version of unity vs pro it has to be the pro version for instance it can't be the regular version of vs pro um, sticks 3dg i think there's only one version of that and that works on our version 
RAM, there's definitely a newer version, which will not work, and there's an older version. So if you're not sure, ask on Discord, um, but just make sure, to, I, mean, I hate for you to buy something that doesn't work because it's the wrong version. Greenkeeper is a custom-built piece of software that is free that you can download from the, uh, the OPCD Downloads uh, Google Drive. It is used for placing pins on greens. It's used for doing out-of-bounds, for hazards, for placing your T markers. Um, it is free. Uh, GS Pro. Now, I would assume at this point that you're already using GS Pro. You have a subscription to it. But if you are an active subscriber to GS Pro, um, you can receive an additional design license for use on another PC, the PC that you're designing on. Just send a kindly worded email to support at gsprogolf.com. Say, I'm a designer. I have a design PC. I'd like a uh, GS Pro license for that PC. And um, uh, they'll, they'll provide you one. So on to the next section.